y'all i am so happy to finally get back to the african tarot stories um this one is going to be on the three of wands the goat and the hyenas i'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description box of the actual story um just in case i miss a few things and you guys want to go through it our ancestor for today is nat love now nat love let's see if you guys can kind of see him in the background he was a black cowboy so um, wow, where do I start with him? It's not that he was just a black cowboy. He was like a badass black cowboy. Um, if you read through his book, from what I've heard through my research, um, there's encounters with shootouts, robberies. Uh, this man was able to do record numbers in, now, you know, I don't know cowboy activities, but I guess cowboy type of activity stuff with like uh, Mustangs, the horses, uh, cattle, just a whole bunch of, <laughs> obviously I'm not too into the cowboy culture, but things that um, are just really like important in that culture, I, I believe. Um, so he was top tier and he was in slavery, but he became a free man um, in the West and he was able to live the life that he wanted to live. And it's just kind of like, as when you hear this story, I think I'll go ahead and link this back to Nat Love and how this all connects. But I think it's just so dope. Um, you don't expect necessarily a black cowboy and someone to be at the top of their game. It's just, it's just you know, another underdog story. But um, really, really juicy one with Nat Love. So I definitely enjoyed learning about him. Ashe to Nat Love. Uh, peace to you, brother. And... Thank you for just living your life and just doing what you love to do. Um, very inspiring. So the hyena and, excuse me, the goat and the hyena. So in this story, there were two kingdoms. The goats had their own kingdom and the hyenas had their kingdom. And one day the goats started arguing that, you know, nobody could go into the hyena kingdom without getting eaten. But there was this little wise goat who said that he could. And he felt that he could without getting one hair missing off of his back. Now, everybody laughed at him. And the chief of the goat kingdom said, if you can go into the hyena kingdom and, you know, come back alive, I will give you my kingdom. So he starts working on this rope. He starts knitting this rope, knitting this rope, knitting this rope. And as he's knitting the rope, he puts it around his belly and then he gets a bundle and he walks into the hyena kingdom. Well, he actually runs into the hyena kingdom. And all of a sudden, he's in the middle of the hyena kingdom. And, you know, I don't know if he was like out of breath, but I'm sure he was because, <laughs> because now he's seeing these two hyenas looking at him, staring at him. And, you know, ready to devour him. So he says, wait, what are you doing? Don't devour me. I am a guest of your chief. They were like a guest of our chief. Okay, so they ignore their bellies and he goes to the chief. And the chief is just ready to get out of his seat and devour the goat. And the goat says, wait, you don't want to devour me. I come with good news. So he's like, good news. What is this news? You know, he said, well, I am not the only goat who wants to move into the hyena kingdom. All the goats want to move into the hyena kingdom and they want to bring their cattle with them. This is why I brought this rope. And so just the idea alone of the goats coming into the kingdom gets the hyena chief, you know, all stirred up, right? And he said, ooh, this is a good idea. And so, excuse me, so the goat, the little wise goat says, maybe you should prepare some pits, you know, for our cattle to go in so that when I come back, we have a place to put the cattle in. He says, good idea, good idea. I'm going to go ahead and make the pits, right? And so he gives them some coins. He gives them some money to show, you know, favor for their friendship. Of course, in his head, he's thinking about eating all these goats so then the brave wise little goat goes into the market buys some honey 
buy some skin, and then he's on his way back um, outside the hyena kingdom, going back to his kingdom, the goat kingdom. So two hyenas follow him. They said, oh, we're just going to follow you, you know, to make sure you get to your destination, to make sure it's safe. Of course, that wasn't really their plan. And as they're going, 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 they're following him so close. And he's just like, why are you still following me? You know, I'm past the beginning of my journey. And one of the, the hyena looks at the other hyena and he says, you know, maybe we should stop here. We shouldn't tire ourselves out. But then another hyena was like, no, like, let's go. Because all the way, because in his intention was to kill and really eat the goat. So they keep going. And as they're going, I believe it was like a, like a river or a water uh, yeah, like a river or something like that that they're going up on across from the bank and a lion shows up. And the lion scares them, of course, because as we all know from Lion King, lions and hyenas, you know, we know that relationship, right? So the hyenas are scared. The goat is a little scared. <laughs> and um, the lion kind of a little baffled that they're scared too. He said, well, what are you guys doing? And the little wise goat immediately speaks up. I'm a medicine man, and I don't know why these hyenas are following me. He says, a medicine man? What type of medicine man? He said, I'm a rainmaker. He said, a rainmaker? Well, let me see you uh, make it rain. And, you know, at this part of the story, you're like, oh, my gosh. Like, how is this little goat going to make this happen? But in the story, <laughs> it's a folk story. Remember that. In the story, he shakes really, 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 really hard. And then... It starts to rain. And so now the lion is baffled, like, oh my gosh, you are a medicine man. Whoa, you know, let me, um, can you make me a talisman? And he said, sure. And he said, well, what do you need to make the talisman? He said, well, I need hyena skin to make the talisman. And so the lion looks at the hyena and he's like, will you give us some of your skin? And of course the hyenas say yes, because they can't run anywhere. And so they, unfortunately for them, take off a piece of their skin to give to the lion. The goat dips the skin into honey and tells the lion to lick it. The lion ends up swallowing the skin instead of just licking it. So then he's like, oh my God, you swallowed the skin. What are we going to do? We need more hyena skin. So the lion looks at the hyenas again. Now this time the hyenas try to jump for it. They jump, they jump in the bushes trying to run away from the lion. The lion, of course, basically attacks them. It's a scuffle in the bushes and he almost skins them alive. So he comes back with all this hyena skin in his mouth and to give to the little wise goat. And of course, the goat is gone. He left. He left and um, he goes back to his kingdom. So when he goes back to his kingdom, everybody in the goat kingdom astonished agrees that because he was wise enough and smart enough to go into the hyena kingdom and come back that he definitely should be their chief so that's the story and you know three of wands is this energy of going out there and um it, of really putting yourself out there that's mostly what i think about when i think of this card now i'll go ahead let me go ahead i'll read off of the book and I know some of you guys have the book, right? So exploration, discovery, boldness, decision, readiness of spirit. I love that, readiness of spirit. So this is what we can think of when we think of the Three of Wands. We can think of the story. You can think of Nat Love. You can see how that kind of ties in with Nat Love. Just somebody you wouldn't expect to be, you know, so adventurous. You wouldn't expect a goat to try to go up against hyenas but um you might find yourself in the situation in life like you don't you might not seem like you're able to or be one of those people that um looks like you're supposed to be in this type of environment but you're wise enough and smart enough to really go through with it and face it and come out of it so it's just a really dope energy readiness the spirit but spirit <laughs> adventure i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm going to go ahead and put the link to the story um and remember that our ancestor is nat love okay all right y'all see you guys in the next one peace